Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. While computing the profit and gains from a business, there are certain expenditures which are disallowed. So this means we should not allow the benefit of such expenditures. So let's see how these disallowed expenses are managed in Odo 50 accounting. So these expenses cannot be deducted in the fiscal result, but can be deducted in your bookkeeping result. And you have to install uh, accounting module. So we have already installed that. And we need expense module. So you can see expense module is installed. Then we need this allowed expense. So you can see after closing the apps filter, if you search for this allowed expense, here you can find them. So you can install that from here. Now, after that, you can see a menu under configuration that is this allowed expenses categories. So you can get the fiscal results in real time by setting some disallowed expense categories and uh, we can obtain periodic changes. So here you have to create a category and for this you can set a code, the name of the category, like car expenses or vehicle expenses. And if it's a car category, you can enable this. If you want to make this category available for a particular company, you can choose that. Then uh, below you can add rates for your disallowed expense category. So you can uh, add the percentage of non-deductibility. Uh, like here you can add 50 percentage for disallowed amount. And you can set a start date. So I'm setting number 30, 2022 at the start date of this uh, disallowed expense rate. And this way multiple rates can be created. So uh, for future entries, different rates can be given. like uh, from February 1st onwards, the disallowed amount percentage must be 70. So in this way, you can set uh, how much percentage of amount should be disallowed for the expenses under this category. Now, after creating the uh, disallowed expense category, you can set this category for an account. So if you open chart of accounts, you can find there uh, our expense accounts. So you can open one uh, expense account. So here we have purchase of equipments. Uh, you can click on setup and add your disallowed expense category. So here I can choose my vehicle expense. Now save the account and just open a product so here we have a product car and just open it and under accounting you can set expense account for this product so let me choose it as so let me choose it as purchase of equipments for which we have set the disallowed category uh, vehicle expense now save the product form so you can see uh, the total uh, sales price and cost price uh, for this product now here we can create a purchase order for the product car Now confirm the order and when you confirm, uh, you can receive the product.
Now let's create a bill. And here we can provide the bill date and confirm the bill. So you can see the account affected or expense account purchase of equipments. Here we can find the journal items related to this bill. Now let's open our accounting module. Now here under reporting, we have a report disallowed expenses. So here inside the report, you can see all the disallowed expense categories and expense account linked with each category. So here you can see uh, the disallowed expense category, vehicle expense that we have just created. And when you unfold this, you can see the related account uh, because we have uh, linked purchase of equipment with this category. And here we can see the total amount that is expense amount and the disallowed uh, amount rate that is percentage of non-directability and the disallowed amount. So here when you click on the account, you can see the general ledger, journal items. So when you click on the journal items, you can view the related bill uh, that we have just created for the product car. You can find information related to uh, that item and the analytic lines. Then uh, this is by default uh, filtered by posted entries only. And if you want to include unposted entries, you can uh, enable this also. Then we can filter by journals. Then by date, like you can view the report for this financial year, last financial year, then this month, last month. So according to your requirement, you can filter the disallowed expense report. And we can also save this disallowed expense report. So you can save by either exporting a to PDF or Excel sheet. So here you can provide a documents name, then the folder. So let me export it as PDF file. And here, let me choose it as finance. Then add, you can add some tags and click on export. Now you can see this is our documents module. Here we can find uh, the PDF report generated for our disallowed expense report. We can view that. So whenever you want to view that uh, disallowed expense report, here you can choose a workspace and you can find that. And if you want to directly download the report uh, as PDF or Excel, you can click on these buttons. And it's also possible to set a disallowed expense category uh, inside a vehicle. Like here, if you install, disallowed expenses on fleets. So you can see it's already installed along with this disallowed expense. So when you open fleet, inside a vehicle, here below uh, the tax information, you can see here option to add disallowed expenses rate. So here we can add the start date and the rate in percentage. So using this disallowed expense report, you can get the fiscal results in real time by setting disallowed expense categories and you can obtain periodic changes. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching. Thank you.